In this email, let's quickly walk through the steps required to send an email through email sheet. To begin with, you need to type in a mail subject. So it could be something like your mail page, whatever you want to write in. So for example, I've written this subject and there's a drop down over here where all your older emails will be listed to by the subject. And you can say when you send out the mail, the list, the email will be automatically saved to the list and you can delete an older email by clicking on the manage button and then clicking on delete buttons right over here. If there were any error sending out a mail, these will, these will be listed in the error section and you will be uh, able to find out what went wrong and fix it and maybe send out the email again. So put in the subject first, then you will need to put in the mail text. You can either paste it in or type it in whatever way you want. You can format it using the format, the formatting toolbars. And if you want to select a custom email, if you want to send the email through a custom email, checkbox, mark this checkbox right over here, then put in your custom from email and the mail will be sent to all the lists using this email ID. If you got templates installed, you can click on the choose email template and that template will be applied to uh, the mail that you send out. Next, you will need to select your mail account. This is the account service through which you will want to send the mail to. And you've already added the service. You've already added the service to email jeet. If you don't know how, then watch the relevant video, which will show you how to add a mail service to email jeet using SMTP. So once you've got the mail services added, you'll be able to select which mail service you want to use. So it could be SendGrade, SMTP to go, Mailgun, Mailjet, SMTP.com, whatever SMTP provider you have or your own hosting maybe, whatever you have, you've already said, you've already added it and it's a part of this list. So select the SMTP service that you want to use. That's the step number three. Then you need to select the list that you want to mail out to. All your lists that are inside email sheet that you've added inside email sheet will be displayed over here. If you want to learn how to add a list, watch my other videos, which will show you how to add a list to email sheet and also how to import your list inside email sheet. So you can select the list that you want to send out the mail to and click the checkbox to send the mail to that list. And email jeet will actually let you decide what fragment of the email of the mail of the list you want to mail. So if you want to send a mail to all of the list, that's fine. The from two addresses, they show the entire list. The total number of emails inside this list is 23,000 odd. And we are sending mail currently to all 23,000 people. But if you want, you can change that. So suppose I want to mail only the first 4,000. I can do so. And this time the mail will be sent only to the first 4,000 people on the list all list. And I can also send uh, the mail to more lists at the same time. You can select multiple lists. So the second list is my product hash one. And in that one, in that particular instance, I'm sending it to 1900 people. So maybe a total of about 5,900 people will receive this mail. And if there are any duplicates, uh, you know, in any of these emails, they will not be sent the mail twice. They will only mail, if they only receive the mail once. So that is a part of email jeet. It makes sure that no mails are sent in duplicate. If you want to add the third list to this, you can add the third list by checking it and the list will be set to and this mail will be sent to all three lists. Then you've got the from address option. We got different options. If you want to, if you don't want to override the from address, then this address will be used and mailed and all the mails will be sent using this address. If you want to override it, it you, if you want to override it with the mail address that you set and, that you set in your mail service, uh, using the mail service dialog box right over here. Uh, this is the mail address that you set in the mail service. If you want to use that instead of this email ID, you can do that. And if you want to send the mail with the from address that you've set on the list, on the individual lists, you can do that too. So when we select that, all three lists will, will get the emails from different from IDs which are set inside those lists. Let me show you. Uh, click on manage and you can see the that every list has a different from ID. And this actually helps you a lot because you'll be able to make sure that every person who receives the mail, it receives it from the from address they expect it from. So the open rates really, really go up. And this is a feature which is only a part of email sheet. So this is how you actually set up the email job. And once, you, once you're ready, uh, you can actually check spam score, click on check spam score and email jeet will tell you how spammy this email is according to the spam assassin algorithm. And if it is not spammy, you can send out the mail by clicking on the send button right over here. 
or if you want to schedule the mail for a later period later time then you can use the schedule button uh, sorry it looks like I deselected click on the schedule button and then you can pick any date where you want to send out the mail to mail on and also the time and you can also select the time zone so once you're done with that click on save So once you're done with that, click on save and the mail will be sent out to your customers at the relevant time period.